what is an ECG? An ECG or an EKG are really abbreviations for the medical term electrocardiogram, the C is the English spelling, or electrocardiogram with a K, and that's the German spelling. It is a non-invasive diagnostic test commonly used in the hospital and pre-hospital settings to gather information about the functioning of the electrical system in your heart. An ECG can be requested by a physician as part of a routine assessment, such as an annual physical exam, maybe a workplace assessment, to determine if the candidate is suitable for the job, or as part of the investigative process for many patient illnesses and diagnoses. The electrical functioning of the heart can be impacted by several changes in the body, such as dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, drug and alcohol use, and disease process such as autoimmune disorders, thyroid conditions, respiratory illnesses, and of course, cardiac issues. We will talk more about those in upcoming units. The electrical activity of the heart is printed out on a pink piece of paper shown here, and this is known as an ECG tracing. This contains valuable information about how well your heart is working. It is important to note that the ECG only measures electrical activity and not mechanical activity. I can't emphasize this enough and will probably say this many times throughout the course. To assess mechanical, you need to physically check the pulse on your patient. Now the electrodes are placed in a standardized position to allow us to see the heart through many perspectives and we will be talking about that shortly. The information is then processed in the ECG machine and printed out on this pink paper. We, I think we really need to know where we've come from to appreciate where we are today. Prior to this invention, it was known that the beating of the heart produced electrical currents. But the instruments of the time could not accurately measure this phenomenon without placing electrodes directly on the heart. Now Wilhelm, Wilhelm Eindhoven is the Dutch physician and physiologist who first invented the ECG machine as we see in this picture. Now this device used a very thin filament of conductive wire passing between very strong electromagnets. And when a current passed through that filament, the magnetic field created by the current would cause the string to move. Now there was a light shining on that string and it would cast a shadow on a moving roll of paper. Now this original machine required water cooling for the powerful electromagnetics. He did win the Nobel Prize for his invention in 1924. And while his science still influences our knowledge today, the technological advances have been vast. Now I have here on the screen that in the day, this was a 270 kilogram machine and it required five people to operate it. We have come a long way, baby. Today's machines are small and they can be found mounted at a patient's bedside. They can be on a portable cart or in the hands of an EMT arriving on scene to a patient's home. So the next time your kid's wondering why math and physics and biology are important classes, show them this picture. We're going to move next into our anatomy and physiology review so that when we start to put those leads on, we really have a better understanding as to why we select the places we do and how we get the information that we do. So we'll see you in the next section.